jump through the hoop for him. The lion has to sit down and kiss his toe for him. No, instead of letting the lion be a lion and respecting the nature, instead of letting the whale be in the sea and ride in the sea and swim in the sea, you know what they do? They take the whale out of the sea so they can make the whale jump in and out of water for your entertainment and do what, it, what they want it to do rather than allowing the whale just to be a damn whale. And you won't let a man just be a man because you don't deserve one. You want a domesticated male. That's when you domesticate any wild thing, any natural thing you domesticated to do what? To do what? What you wanted to do to serve who? To serve your little desires. You ain't nothing but white supremacy. It's the same thing. It's in our woman. And we have to stop this. We must understand the nature of a man. And men need to understand who they are and stop lying to these women and be who you are. That's why we do polygamy, because it's my nature. And it's saying, fuck, fuck white supremacy. See, white people can't na let nature, then you ain't nothing but a white girl. You don't deserve a man, because you won't do nothing but emasculate him and perpetuate white supremacy upon him. See, white supremacy can't let nature be nature. You have to take nature and do all kind of funny shit with it. Made it with this one, made it, breed it with that one, and it won't just, it, it's just let life run. Love life. You won't let a dog be a dog. Nah, nigga, you gotta turn into a chihuahua so that you can walk around with, with it in your purse. That's white supremacy. That's how the white man uses up nature. That's how the white man looks at nature. So now you are, you being in monogamy is simply saying you don't give a damn about God and God's way of life because God has made man to spread his genes with as many women as he can for his survival. And you take that away from his nature and make him feel bad about his own nature. No, we are not stupid. We are not dumb, deaf, and blind here. We know what's going on here. We are we are awakened. We are illuminated to understanding and living in tune with nature. But we are not bastardizing this. We have come together because we, the father needs to be in the life of the children. So that's why we stay together and we come together uh, as a unit. But you don't deserve a man until you understand the nature of one. Point blank period. Come on, man. I have to just kill that demon real quick, man. Come on, man. And you see, these women are against you. These women are white supremacy. They, they're colored black, but they're against you. And their genes are, they've been programmed uh, 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 to destroy you. Just like the system. The system is in your woman. And if you don't get rid of that system and get rid of that woman, She's here to destroy you. Now, she don't get her way. They have programmed her to make her believe against your nature, against God's nature. This is the devil's woman. They do not love nature. They do not love what is and how life is and cannot allow life to flow the way it is. And so you have to lie to her, cheat, to, cheat on her, go behind her back because she doesn't have knowledge of self. And if she doesn't want to accept the knowledge of self, then fuck her. Let the dead bury the dead and leave her ass alone. But you go forth and proclaim the kingdom of God and understand who you are. Black man, understand who you are, black woman. Understand who your man is before you even try to get one. You want a man, but don't know the nature of a man. You don't deserve one. That's why you got a boy. You're sitting up there with two children, and your man is getting contacted from the universe. Cosmic, cosmic universe is telling him he's right for feeling the way he feels. He's, it's okay to feel like you feel, dog. It's okay, but you can't bastardize her. You can't lie to her. You got to be straight up with her. Don't lie. Tell her the truth. Look, I ain't no monogamous person. I never will be. It ain't in my genes to be. God ain't designed me to be like that. The fuck you trying to do? You trying to put white supremacy on me? I used to be dumb, but now I see. I was blind, but now I see. You feel what I'm saying? And thankful for Chief. He put me on game. And I ain't never looked at it like that, but that's real. White supremacy got zoos, aquariums. Look at what they do to nature. They can't just let nature be nature. Nah. Look at what they did to humans. They couldn't just let humans be humans in nature. Nah, they took them and enslaved them. Made them into who they wanted. We're domesticated by slavery, homie. Fuck is you talking about, dog? We slaves, nigga. We've been made to think the way we think. Our woman been made to think the way she think. We're not natural, nigga. We don't live in our natural environment, motherfucker. Fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? Wake up! You don't live in your natural environment. You're not being a human. You're being a slave. You're being American. You're being an African American. That's what they made you. That's not what God made you. God made you a a a a, a God.
and you you are God's children. You're supposed to be in the jungle. This ain't your natural environment. You sit on here asking my wives why they do what they do. You don't deserve a man until you know the man's nature. And men, you don't deserve a woman until you know your own nature and stop lying to her. What's wrong with these niggas, man? That's a whole pack of snakes. Now be mad at me. Gang up control gang up and troll me, man. Be mad at the truth. That was articulated very well. Yeah. <laughs> he did the damn thing. Yeah. Man, it's some real live off balance women out here. Peace and love, Queen. Peace and love. Now look, I I done been in live before. I'm pretty sure some of y'all done see me. But check this out. Y'all doing what y'all supposed to be doing. Right? Facts. Right? Facts. On top of facts, right? Facts. So these, these these women's is really blindfolded. What do they call it? They got a veil over their eyes, right? That's the fact. If you know who you are, you knew that the man, right? Yes. Our leader is supposed to do what he's supposed to do. Yes. I don't want no man that don't want other women. Why? Yes. Because that means something ain't right. Something ain't right. right. If you look at just me, something ain't right. So how are we supposed to bring us back? They killing us off every day. Yeah. Every That's day. But if we keep our nation going and we keep building and we keep keep our babies from being on these birth certificates and putting these men on yeah. these birth certificates, right? Yeah. They sleep. And chief, you should never, ever let, excuse my language, ever let no bitch, because that's when she just acted like a straight bitch, because she's confused. She's confused. Excuse me for my language, but I'm so who I am, right? I got a husband. Yes, I'm married. Married as to fuck. But look, check this out. If he wanted to bring another woman in, I'm for it. Yes. There comes jealousy. Yes, indeed, it comes with the whole package. That's when you, you might not like how he's dealing with Sarah. You might not like how you might not get the affection she gets. That's a part of That's just what it is. We right. were built to have emotions. We do have emotions. Right. So you might be laid up with him, and I might hear something, and I'll be ready to off all of y'all. That's just <laughs> it. It's really... I'm just keeping it real. I've been done this. I've been doing this since I was 16 years old because my daddy, my father have multiple women. Now, a lot of these people feel that it's because it's a pimp involved or the man is just wanting sexual desires. It's been in relationships where I have my own thing going on, but we all share the last name because we are all building a nation, right? We're building our own nation. Why Trump? Trump got a whole white nation under him. Why chief can't have one? Right. That's the what is he taking anybody? What is he taking anybody from? Mm-hmm. Either you gonna walk beside him or you gonna unfollow him. It's that simple. Right. It's right. Simple. No, my man is forty three years old and I'm I'm thirty years old. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Now, I got a whole bunch of friends that's very very curious. Mm-hmm. Well, what is it? What is it that? You, why do you like an older man? It's not about him being oldish. Like older. What it is? Mm-hmm. What it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm very cocky because I know what I represent. You feel me? Mm-hmm. However, y'all really sleep in here. That's why y'all mad at him, you know? Oh, I have very much confidence in myself, so this is why I come to you full flesh who I am. That's but you guys are dogging out these women as if, man, it is what it is. I'm not even going to read the comments because the hate yeah, is so, we, the we, hate we, is so we, real. We got you. The hate be so real. I just know that I'm here to reproduce. That's all I'm really here for. The woman's body is used to produce. Yes. It is what it is. It is what it is. Ain't no other way to use it. Now, a lot of these men out here that want these polygamy relationships, they're going about it the wrong way. So when people come forward, they don't know what it is. They like, oh no, that's a pimp trying to have hella hoes. No. A real provider knows what he's supposed to do with all of his wives. That's why it says, do not have multiple wives if you cannot, what? Take care of multiple wives. If you cannot fulfill all their goals and their dreams, it is what it is. It ain't for you. That's fine. Move along. Right? So if you get pregnant and she pregnant and y'all babies is due a week apart, that's even better. We're going to raise them together. We're going to teach them the same morals and standards. Okay, now, those kids eventually going to become teenagers, and then we're going to have to install in them the th- same things that are in me. 
once those kids are old enough, they're going to tell their friends about it. Their friends are going to look at them like, what the hell are you talking about? Because it's being taught in the Bibles and in the schools and all of this, right? How is it that back in the day, Sarah, Lamb, all of them, they was inbreeding and stuff. So what's the big deal? Now it becomes a problem when your seeds are having. Yeah, the man, the man is church. not. The man is not supposed to be take care of taking care of the woman. That ain't how it go. The woman is supposed to be take. We all supposed to be taking care of each other. First of all, they each that's other. Just, off the yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's let's man, just make that clear. Let's make that clear. That's off the ain't, bat, no, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. Things. Ain't nothing in nature. Ain't nothing in nature talking about you can't have more than one wife if you can't take care of her. That's that's white supremacy. That's white supremacy. Now, no, listen. because a man. No, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you right now. You interrupted her, but I'm saying some real stuff right now. No, right? listen, listen though. You are saying some real shit outside of that. I gotta correct you on that. It ain't supposed to be that the well, man. You, you, supposed to you take are, it. but hold on. I think listen. you and a few other people may have taken that wrong. A okay. man, there's nothing correct that another you. woman. Okay, there's nothing that one of those sisters can firmly do for me that you can. Whatever you can do for me, because you're a man, so you might take care of me in a sexual way that she cannot. So, yes, you are taking care of her as well as she's taking care of you. But a man, you're the protector, right? She can't protect you much, right? Right. So but at what some I'm telling point, you, what, you what are I'm taking you that, care of her. Right, no doubt. Uh -huh. I said you have to take care of each other. But I'm telling you that we are under the impression that the man, he can't have more than one wife, like you said, unless he can provide for them. That's bullshit because if you can provide for each other. That's the that's one of the points of coming together, and th especially in this white true. supremacy, especially in this white supremacy system where all these women is making money. I'll be damned if I and, and I'm like, I, look, look at the black man in this community. He could hardly make no money, but the black woman got all the jobs. So what you think? What you think? You you, you ain't supposed to be thinking like, oh yeah. But in, in nature, I don't think about money. I don't and and think about nature, money. Without, money, without money, without money, without money, it ain't no taking care of multiple wives. The wives. We all take each other. The woman the most vicious things in nature. Women are the most oh, vicious know, things in I'm nature. Vicious. So when a woman person. come together in a pack, that's the baddest thing you could ever fucking talk about protecting. When let me let me tell you something. When you got lioness, right? When you have a pride of lions, the male don't do shit but stay back. The motherfucking woman go out there and hunt and bring that shit. They they the ones that go out and tactic and hunt and get get the get the get the meal and bring it back. Now now as far as a gorilla, the the alpha. You know, make sure everybody eats and finds food for everybody to eat and everything. So, yes, there is leadership qualities that the male must have. I'm not saying See, not at all. but you're stuck, you're stuck in the financial. You're stuck not in, just in the financial. Not just in the financial. I'm saying that. There's things that a man has to provide by any means. I, not to be rude, but I don't care what you're talking about when it comes to Yeah, this, of I'm course he has to. I never said that. I never said he didn't have to provide. I, I, what I'm saying to you is today and to today's time. Like but everybody today, I'm to not talking about today. We, but when it comes to what we're talking about here, I don't care about no man's money because I make more money than my husband all day. I told you that all day long. I make more money right. than my daddy ever made because I'm a woman and they're going to look at me different regardless, right? So what I'm saying is there's always, there's certain certain things that you can't do for a woman that another woman probably can, like shelter her, Fix her emotions. There's so many things that a man could do to provide. I'm not, ne but fuck the money because it, honestly, there's days where I don't have none and I still make it happen. But there's things that a man, there's things that a man can only do for a woman. And that's certain things I'm talking about providing. For instance, and that's, yeah. for instance, I may come to your, to your nature group, right? To your castle. And I might be masculine to those women, right? But there's still, even even if I was sexually attracted to a woman, there's still some things that I cannot give. I cannot provide her with a child unless I carry that child, right? I cannot come inside of her and give her a C. I, I just can't do that. That's what I'm talking about, providing. There's things that you could provide that another All right, so woman, I just wanted you to be in particular because I, we are under the impression when you say a man can't have multiple wives unless he can provide for them all, we're, un we're under the impression of financial. No. They're under the impression of financial. Yeah, but you have to speak we, clearly. We all on the same list. There's, there's, three, there's 369 oh, people. Listen. 
No, all, no. What I'm telling you is that you, you have forget to we are not here to touch everybody. We're not going to ever be able to touch everybody's spirit. We're not going to be able to get through to everybody. So I'm only talking to the ones that understand and understand. No, 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 no. Listen, man, you right. got to be clear in everything that you're talking and precise in everything you're saying when you're teaching this knowledge. You can't be teaching it subjectively. Now, what you said was known. There's a known saying that a man cannot have many wives unless he's financially be able to provide for all of them. We know I never that. Said anything about no, finance. Bro, I'm about to hang up on you. You're not listening. You can. Man. That's fine. Okay. Bye. <laughs> See? Dummy. You know what I'm saying? Like, acting like she don't know what we're talking about. Come on, bro. And don't get blocked with your little... I'm, with y'all little comments, because I'm blocking you. You in your feelings? You in your feelings? Don't get blocked. You heard me. I'm going to block you. You feel me? I'm going to block you. He said she got bright ideas. <laughs> Yo, something wrong with y'all. Yo. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, my phone died. I okay, so... Oh, that was one moment, uh, one moment, I didn't, uh, I was just letting you know, I didn't get what you said. I could hop back in when you were a little bit, sound like you were, you know, a little bit upset. I don't know what. Oh, no, I'm not upset. I, I'm I passionate about saying. white supremacy. I'm passionate. It's not upset. I'm passionate about white supremacy. I'm okay. passionate about what it's done to our people. I'm passionate about women like, like yourself that, that, that has a man, but don't know, don't know a man, don't know a man's nature. It's not good. That you have a man and not know his nature because, and it's not, and it's not good for a man to have a woman and not know his nature and not know a woman's nature. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, one must, moment, must... one moment, one moment. Because yeah. you keep, um, I feel like you're defining all women and all men. And I absolutely things. am because it's when, a general, one moment. It's a general can I can I woman. express what I'm trying to say? It's before. a general. Name. That's a straight universe. I'm not arguing with the. I, I'm here to teach. Okay, I didn't see that I'm here to teach up. you. I'm here to teach you. Of course you didn't see it because you've been raised as a motherfucking slave. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You're not a human being. I'm not going to sit here and argue back and forth with you. No, you come here to learn. You ask questions. Your husband waking up. You're going to lose your husband and you're going to be a single fucking mother out there playing around. Your husband, he waking up, he listens to the knowledge. It makes sense. And instead of you listening and trying to like consider it, then you sitting there trying to argue his point. Your ass going to sit there and be the rest, like the rest of these motherfuckers, a single mother. Oh, I've been here for seven years and you don't want to elevate and you don't want to grow and you're going to get left behind. That's what it's going to be. Nobody ain't got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't argue after you learn it. I'm not arguing. I'm going to add you, but I'm not arguing. If you're not coming in question form to understand, I'm going to hang up on you. I'm telling you, I'm going to hang straight up. Because go talk to your man. Go watch the videos with him because I ain't got time for this. Hey, what's what keep going on? I just got disconnected again. I know because the live ended. The live ended. But listen. Uh, no, 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 number no, one, number 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 one, it's slave mind. I guarantee you. I'm going to let you say it now. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Now, my point was, I'm trying to get an understanding of the beneficial benefits that these women, the four women in front of me that are in front of this camera, are gaining being we in a political Can you please? Can I talk? You. Can I talk? Can I talk? No, you was talking about a man's perspective, what a man's want within nature. That it seems like they are just there for you when they should be there also for themselves be. and they're you as a man. They're supposed to be here for me. Absolutely. Did you not just hear me say that? Are you not there for your husband? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're not hearing me. You're not no, hearing me. it's a Leo to Christ. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. Okay. You don't want to be heard because you're not listening. Absolutely, I'm listening to you. You Absolutely. definitely not listening to me. I just broke it down to you. I just broke white supremacy down to you. I told you that you're not a, you're not living in your natural environment. You're not a real human. That you're a domesticated human trying to domesticate a man. You can't domesticate a man. I just told you that. I'm not I trying just to domesticate all a man. of that to you. You trying to ask me what's the benefits? 
But you ask can't for know a woman you and a woman know the benefits. We are individuals first. You will never we were know born the as an individual first. We wasn't born together. You live natural. So you, you have your own desire. You don't. You you listen. You, we're not here to argue with you, ma. Go ahead and drive your man up a fucking wall. You're not going to drive me up no goddamn wall. Go wash your dishes and, and, and drive your man up a wall when he get home. He, could, he constantly trying to tell you what I'm trying to explain to you. You go ahead and drive him up a wall. You ain't going to do that to me. I'm not arguing with you. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to get down and lay down. That's, that's it. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving. Bye. And if I was him, I'll leave you alone. Fuck that. I'll be like, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? All you're going to do is put him on child support and be white, white supremacy. And be like the rest of the single mothers out here. Because you don't want to fucking listen. And I'm trying to let you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Nobody going to sit and argue with you all day for what? I'm trying to put you on G. I'm trying to put you on game. I'm trying to tell you the truth. And nah, I said to you, nah, you're not going to listen. So your man going to leave you. He going to leave you. He's not going to stay around. And you keep denying what he's trying to tell you. The brother coming to you. And, and giving you the knowledge, like, look, ma, this is my nature. He's finding himself. He, this is the age of information. He's bringing you new knowledge. He see, he's presenting it to you, saying, look, look, check this out. This is what I learned, right? Yo, this man, he was saying something that made a lot of sense. He said that, you know, we've been domesticated as animals, as humans. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been enslaved. Like, other humans took us and enslaved us and made us what they needed us to be yeah. for their benefit. And we've been domesticated. We don't live in our natural environment and our natural state of mind and our natural spirituality and our natural state. We don't. We've been domesticated. So how we have a healthy relationships out of a domestication of white supremacy. So you don't deserve a man because you don't. And then now we have to lie. A man has to lie and go behind your back and cheat on you or if a man doesn't cheat on you he has to discipline himself in a way that goes against his own nature which is unnatural and i'm here to let the brothers know to let your nuts hang and be a man but be respectful and tell a woman straight up look baby i'm not monogamous i'm polygamous you dig and put a situation together that works for everybody but stop lying and stop cheating you know what i'm saying stop paying for ads stop watching porn and just Get it on, baby. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. You're not living in your natural environment. You don't understand the male's nature. The males, you don't deserve a man if you don't understand his nature. And y'all don't deserve females if you don't even understand your own nature. Because all you're going to do is perpetuate lying. This whole system we live in is a lie. Your name is a lie. Your ID is a lie. How can a nigga say, show me your ID, and you pull out a piece of fucking card when you're standing right there? This whole shit is a lie, my nigga. The whole system is a lie. ID yourself. Motherfucker, I'm standing right here. I am who I am. Nigga, look, don't you see I'm standing in front of you? No. ID yourself within the system. Oh, within the matrix? Oh, okay, I'm a, I'm a number. Yeah, you made me a slave. My, I want to give somebody my last name. Your last name is a slave name attached to a number, attached to a bank account, homie. Wake the fuck up. You're not living in life. You're not living in real life. Cut it the fuck out. Cut the bullshit out, shorty. I'm trying to put you on game. You should be soaking it up like a sponge, SpongeBob. You need to be SpongeBob when I'm talking. Listen. Soak it up. Soak it up. I'm giving you game. And all my guys out there, stop lying to these females. The reason why I got my situation is because I stopped lying a long time ago. You want to know how I got my situation? I stopped lying. And I took the time to, to manifest the truth. And all this time you lying to one woman, you could have had five wives. You got to let that shit go. Babies and all, if she don't want to fucking listen, fuck her. Just go find a woman that's down with polygamy. It's 2020, my nigga. 2020. You getting smarter. You waking up. It's obvious. Stop lying. Become who you are. Embrace it. And fuck the rest. We are not real human beings. We have been domesticated just like lions, just like tigers, just like bears, just like oh my, whatever. All the fucking animals in nature, man has took it, including humans, have took it and domesticated to their will to do what they wanted to do with it. And we have been the subjects of slavery. We've been made as men to be what they programmed us to be and i refuse to be a part of the system because i know who the fuck i really am and a woman loves that when you know who the fuck you are real women do real women know love when they hear a man 
and has raised his frequency past his slavery, his slave mind, a man that has, a, a, a lion that has woke up and said, I'm not from this fucking zoo. I'm from the jungle, bitch. I'm a lion. And a lion that knows he's a lion, you can't keep him in the motherfucking zoo with the door open. You can't keep him in the zoo with right. the door open. A lion that knows he's a lion will not stay in the zoo. When he knows the door is open, he can walk out. But now they have the doors open. And you stay there because they have programmed you. Epigenetic tags. They programmed you for 400 years to accept your slavery. And you stay in the damn zoo. And when the door wide open, what's wrong with you? Leave, motherfucker. You don't have to be here no more at service to their white supremacy, at service to what they want in building their culture and trying to be like them. You need to learn who you used to be and then become that again. The fuck is wrong with you? I'm not sitting here arguing with a white supremacist, with a black white supremacist, with a white mind state. You telling me about your mother's 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 mother as if they wasn't made slaves. Right. Everything you live, eat, sleep, sleep, sleep is fucking slavery. It's modern day slavery. And I tell you, and I ask you one question. Are you living in your natural environment? Do you think this is my natural environment? No, but you watch my videos. I was in my natural environment and I showed you what your natural environment was because I was there with my wives when I was there. And I had white supremacy come, come, come and try to make me a domesticated animal as if I wasn't going to break free of that motherfucking slavery and, 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 and empower my people with the truth to free you. Now, look, I give you the juice. You got to drink it, nigga. Huh. I give you the juice. You got to drink it, nigga. Huh? I give you the medicine. You got to take it, sick ass nigga. Like you sick, nigga. I gave you the juice. You got to drink it, nigga. I can't drink it for you, nigga. I'm on it, though. I'm on it, nigga. So if you see me, and you see me and my queens, and we sitting here, and I'm and I'm, and I'm with my pride, and I'm rising my frequency, don't be mad at me. Don't be trying to look at my woman. Go get your own. I'm telling you how to build it for real. For real, without a bill. <laughs> Your melanin too trill for a bill. <laughs> you better believe that. You better just have knowledge yourself. That's the greatest power you can have, better than silver and gold, Aki. I'm giving you the juice, you better drink it. I'm giving you the juice, you better drink it. I'm on, man. Sleepy, man. Sleepy, man. I got an assorted color of woman here. Beautiful woman to mate with, to have my children with. I'm good. This is rich. This is wealth. You looking at wealth. No matter how much money you got, if you ain't got this, you ain't got wealth. You don't got it. You don't got it. I got it. This is rich. Right here. It's rich. Every flavor they got, I got it. Rich. Get you one. Get you two. Get you three. You a king. You a god. Stop letting them, stop letting them, stop letting these women out here limit you to white supremacy. You are not a fucking animal in a zoo. You are God's child. You are God's children, God's people. Black men, right? Raise up and know your worth and know who the fuck you are, bro. Stop playing with these little ass girls out here that don't know who the fuck they are, bro. Real shit. These women out here keep you down because they've been trained that way. They've been trained the way to keep you down and it's sad. Everything is against the black man rising because when the black man rise, the black woman will also. Because he is the leader and the, and the ruler of this planet. And you never forget that, black man. You are the leader and the ruler of this here planet. You never forget that. Without a dollar, if the system falls, you are God. <laughs> you are God. I sit on my throne. I sit on my throne matter, no matter where I go. You, Whatever you give me, I'm a God. You can feel my royalty, the way I carry myself, the way I think, who I am. You feel my presence, and I know when I think, and I understand who the fuck I am, and I carry myself in that in that way. And no matter what you take from me, it will always be given back to me. You know why? Because I know who I am. And then eventually, my reality must my reality must give me what I know that I am. But you must be tested. You must can overcome white supremacy in every single way. White supremacy is in you, it's in your woman, it's in your children, it's in everything all around you. You must 
beat the system itself. That is your only enemy. I am not your enemy. I'm your brother. I'm your teammate. I am not your enemy. You are your enemy. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be a bitch nigga. Don't be a bitch nigga. Bitch nigga. Ho nigga. Bitch nigga. Bitch nigga. Bitch nigga. Ho. Don't be a bitch nigga. Congratulate. Don't play a hate. Don't don't see enough the next man and hate on that man. Get with the program, homie. Don't hate. Congratulate. Come up. Be a nigga that's positive and wants to understand and get his own. Don't be hating on another nigga's own. You feel me? I'm giving you the juice. Drink it, nigga. Don't hate. Don't be a bitch, nigga, looking at another nigga in envy, wanting to take what he got. Go earn your shit, nigga. Get your own, nigga, if you that nigga. If you really that nigga, go get your own and show it off. But to get this to happen with African-American woman, huh, <laughs> it's going to take more than money, Bobby. <laughs> it's going to take more than money, Bobby. To get what I got going, it's going to take more than money. I'd like to see you do it. I'd like to see you do it. <laughs> it's going to take more than money, Poppy. You feel me? It's going to take more than moolah, baby. y'all for a while now and um being that there's so many different perceptions there's different realities because perception creates reality right so we all have different perceptions and different thought forms and um i'm in no way disagreeing with what y'all do i'm here to ask questions and just build you know uh so do you think that I totally completely agree, Chief, that men are specifically the black man because the black man is the original man. The black woman is the original woman. Um, we just are. Studies have shown that every race, every variation comes from the black woman. So we are everything. And I do believe that black men are naturally just polygamous by their nature of their seed. You know, they they keep producing sperm, new sperm every day of day. We have all we're born with all the eggs we will ever have. So it just it, it just makes sense. And our ancestors did. I did past life regression on myself. And I was a queen and I had many I did have many wives. Now um I do agree that that polygamy is is definitely something that we as a culture need to get back to as far as when it comes to building yes. community building building a kingdom building a tribe now i do also believe though balance i believe we have to have balance and we have to have balance in everything that's that's the laws of the universe law of balance right eight the infinity the the continual the balance so I think we need to check our intentions as to why we get into polygamy. And if we do it as a means to fill voids that came in from childhood, as opposed to, to build, does that make sense? Right. So, I mean, it's a lot of sense. Um, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. For me, I got into a polygamous relationship to procreate my, the to procreate chief, you my know, husband. like, my husband, yeah. <laughs> um, because he do that he does need to spread his genes. But you know what? When you do get into a polygamous relationship, it brings up your 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 traumas, your childhood traumas and things. And that's what your sisters are here for. You know, like we're here to support each other with that. Like your demons do come up, but you, you face your demons. You don't run away from your demons. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um now for Chief from a man's i don't know like if it's is it respectful i can ask chief right yeah, yeah that's, that's, I can ask, that's, okay 
Yeah, like I just want, I don't ever want to, yeah, sure. so, um, sure. now for, T, for you, do you feel as though you have healed your inner child? Because with men, men have to do it just as much as women do. Men have chakras just as much as we do. You know, we they have to, to heal their inner child just as much as we do. We're all humans and having this experience. We're divine beings having this human experience. And because we all go through traumas, you know, we, so, for instance, the man, the first relationship that you ever have with divine feminine energy mother. is the relationship you have with your mother. And same thing with women. The same, the first relationship we ever have with divine masculine is our fathers, right? So if your relationship with your father, then that's the first divine masculine energy, you know, the relationship that you ever have, it, that, uh, of course you will see men through the lens of that so i guess that's what y'all say is babylon or the european way is to see men through the lens of how we how our fathers treated us like generational curses right okay so same with men now with you chief with your relationship i don't know about your relationship with your mom but do you feel like you have healed your inner child as well do you feel as though you have you you enter into this this polygamy and and everything and do your lifestyle and do what you do do you feel like you do it as a means to feel a void or do you do it from a because it's just what's natural to you are you or are you continuing to heal and fill that void okay so all medicine comes from nature and i'm not talking about nature from just plants the nature of our relationships are healing we cannot heal our generational curses without without being in a proper relationship. Do you understand? Be, just being in polygamy heals you. Yes, yes. Look at how many mothers I have now. Look at the abundance of, love, of feminine energy that I'm around. Am I not healing myself by giving myself four wives who are attentive to me like mothers? Filling that void at the same time, honoring nature. See how nature heals all wounds. And so not just through plants and medicine, but in our nature as male and female dealing with each other in the proper format, in a proper relationship format, in that we will heal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nature heals all things. So a man being in his natural state will, if, will, will easily heal his generational curses of 400 years of slavery. And when I say heal, I'm talking about those things will surface. Answers will come. He will have the cosmic uh, connection he needs to be in touch with the, ans the answers to heal himself. So the black man must rise and heal himself. We cannot wait for anybody to come heal me. I had to come and decide to heal myself. And the only way you can heal yourself is to align yourself with the cosmic arrangement. And we were not made to be in monogamous relationships. That will perpetuate generational curses is what I've learned. That is not medicine. That is poison for the black man. And so, so what the black been, man, for the black man to heal from any kind of mother issues, father issues, he would have to have been accepted himself fully as a king yes. and then accepted himself and allowed himself to have many wives. And when he I, has achieved this, he will, he, will, he will get what he needs to heal now, automatically. It automatically goes hand in hand. I I completely agree. I don't think there's any. I don't believe that anything can be, can be wrong because we're all here having an experience, and you know our lives are written out, and it's for our growth and our experience. So I'm not in any way disagreeing. Um, now, for men that for black men that recognize themselves as kings that do not go along with the. Um, the babble, I call it the matrix consciousness, the, the consciousness of fear, of ego. Um, what if he is a king, but he just does not do polygamy? 
You know, it's like, impossible. You just you what? just explain you just explain the male's semen nature. His his semen and his nature. You just said that yes. the man's nature is to reproduce. Yes. You well, just okay. Said, you just stated I, I do. that I totally a man, a man that. in his natural state, a black man in I his natural that. state, cannot say he's he's monogamous. No, he's not. I I completely believe that. Do they grow like? What if like I were to go to my my king or whatever, be like, look, let's do. Pull. What if he's not even just? What if he's grown to a point then where he then just, he is then he is under the spell and the possession of white supremacy. No, but what if he's really not? What if he's I like, just really? told you it's impossible for him to be in tune with nature, eating from nature, living in harmony with nature, and not desire to spread his genes. He is a GMO, period. Did you hear me? Yeah. He is a modified organism by the United States government. And you need to get away from that man because he ain't going to do nothing but make your children GMOs because he carries that gene. Okay, um, so let's, do y'all do, like, did you study the hermetic principles or, like, the Kabbalion study, or anything like that? Study, <laughs> live by them, bro. That's natural a, law, that's law. So that, yeah, so that, I, I, I just, I started, I got into that, mainly through healing, doing inner child healing, and I, I really do see a lot of, I see so, like, I feel like y'all are used for the collective, you know, even if we don't all agree or we don't all go out and follow, become the disciples or whatever, I do feel like that y'all's lives are definitely being um, played out on a world stage, in a sense, or it's going to get there, for sure, y'all are building into that, but it's definitely a message for the collective. I don't know if I, I'm not, and I'm not in any way, am I able to bring this up with, um, I wanted to bring up uh velvet because i saw so much inner child stuff i was like i want to do an inner child healing session with her and even with you chief as well but so do you feel like the healing a lack of healing can make you make decisions that are not in alignment with the hermetic print the law of vibration the law of correspondence um you know does that does nature outdo that or do you see what I'm, do you understand what that I'm saying? That is nature. That is nature. The hermetic principles are nature. That's nature. Do you know what the net, what, what the uh, hermetic principles are? Absolutely. Those are laws of nature. Those are laws of nature. <laughs> those are, those are in tune with the law. Those are actual laws of nature. Now, I understand. Do you think that the law, do you think that our own lack of healing can misconstrue the laws of nature can twist it can um get us out of balance yeah i guess if you if you're not in tune with nature itself yeah so do you believe that going out in nature is what heals the person's dna or do you believe doing the actual work along with doing the inner work along with being out in nature? Well, that's what carbonation is all about, doing the inner work while being in nature. Yeah. You have to do the psychological work. I say that, I ask that because, you know, I know people who've gone out in nature and they, they're still in their wounds. You know, I really believe that. And I know that y'all are seeing that now that y'all are in America or whatever, this system. You know, Babylon isn't necessarily a physical state. It's more of a consciousness, right? So healing your DNA is, it, I, do, I believe that it's beyond being out in nature. I believe that it's a, it's, it's, con, it's a type of, it's, it's, it's consciousness. It's a state, right? That's a fact. So that's why I asked that, and I guess somebody that's what said do the inner work while she worked their inner. <laughs> that's true. That's real. What? And the man is supposed to heal his woman. The man. Is I do. I definitely believe sex. Sex is one of sacred energy exchange. 
will it's definitely healing. it will heal Sexual your healing, like Marvin Gaye said. Absolutely. I believe in that. It's exchange, it's energy exchange. And depending on who you are exchanging with, it can either make or break you. Sierra and Russell Wilson, whatever his name is, and Matt the man. Complete perfect example. She was with one man and she was a totally different way. She was a new man, got new dick. Everything's blown up for her and things are better. So I definitely do believe that uh dick does help. But even beyond that, that's I mean, I don't know. This is a bad question. So I'm now I'm going into another question. Do y'all I can ask whatever I want to ask, right? Out of respect. Yeah. So do y'all like do do you meet these women and then you just start having you just start exchanging with them? Or do you have some sort of like is there some sort of process? Because you don't want to just mix energies. You know, the energy that you feel over the phone and over a live is completely different from the energy in person, right? So do y'all right. just meet and start, you know? No, nah, man, you have to be on the frequency to even get to me. You have to, you have to look at their page. If you look at my wild pages, you will see that they had before they even came here, they was on frequency with me. They was in tune with me. You, I won't even talk to a woman if she ain't got the immortal on her shit, or she don't turn herself into that. I'm not even talking to you until you proclaim the kingdom. So what happened with Velvet, with Velvet then? Like, why she didn't wasn't we, able why to face her? It? She wasn't able to face her generational curses. Her mom, like we are our mom and dad's relationship. She wasn't able to accept polygamy. Period. She's stuck in white supremacy. That's it. She's stuck in white supremacy. She's stuck in her generational curses, and that comes with consequences. Okay. This was good. Thank you. Yeah, I love myself, man. Be good. I love myself. Love myself. I like her. She was in the bar. I told you. She was in the bar. I told and they getting blocked, was it worth it? <laughs> Your negative comment got you blocked, was it worth it? <laughs>